In this video we're going to create our titles and the best way to start with that is to create some guides. In order to do that you want to make sure that you can view your rulers and I would go view, show rulers. All right to create a guide it works just like in Photoshop. I want to place my cursor within the guide, drag and drop and I want to do the same thing from the left, drag and drop, only this time I'm going to bring it in slightly away from the edge of the page here. I'm also going to zoom in so I'm going to do control plus and I'm going to just kind of work over here on what's called the pasteboard. So I'm actually not going to work on the document itself. I'm going to click on the type tool and I'm going to click drag and drop and create a text box. Now just to start out with I can see that I'm working on a 12 point so I'm going to bump this up to 24 because I know that's where I'm going eventually and I also know that it's set to Minion Pro and I want to change it to Myriad Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start typing and my very first title is an education unlike any other. Okay so a couple of quick things about type in InDesign and I'm going to demonstrate this by just clicking on the selection tool. You'll notice that my type box is much bigger than the text that's within it. But if I accidentally made a type box that was smaller than my text, I would get this little red plus. That red plus indicates that it, this text is overset. That means there's more text than what I can see here or that can fit in this text box. Whenever you see that red plus, it means that you've got to either enlarge or resolve the problem of your text box being too small. Sometimes, in fact, if your text box is too small, you won't see any text at all. So you want to make sure that you make your text box a little bit bigger. One nice way to handle text boxes is to double click on the bottom right transform controls and just double click and it's going to fit the transform controls around the object. Now you can also again enlarge from the corner. This doesn't enlarge the text itself. In this particular case I'm going to highlight the text and what I want to do is I want to play around with some of the metrics to make this match up with the original document. So I'm going to go over here I've got 24 Myriad Pro but I do want to play a little bit with the vertical scale. So here instead of 100 I'm going to dial in 160 and you can see that this has really kind of changed the dynamic of this particular text. I also want to change the color. Up here in the options toolbar as long as you have the type tool selected and you have text selected you're going to find the T and that's your fill box. Now I'm going to show you two ways to color your text. If you click on the fill you can actually dial in using the color picker tool much like Photoshop. I'm just going to click cancel here or you can click on the caret next to the fill. So if you take a look here's the T and there's the caret next to it. I get the drop down menu with my predetermined swatches which is really great because I've already created a swatch for the corporate dark blue. So I'm just going to double click. I'm going to get this little swatch that reminds me this is what the color is and there it is. It's applied already. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click so that it's fitted up nicely and I'm going to click drag and drop that right there. Use your up and down arrows to kind of get it to fit in exactly. You may find that you need to zoom in to get it to work right. Now on page two, believe it or not, we have the very same title. So all I'm going to do is copy, control C. I'm going to move down to page two and you can do that one of two ways. I just scroll down but I can also click on pages and double click on page two and here I am. I'm going to control V and I'm going to click drag and drop it. Once again though I really want to have some guides so I'm going to click drag and drop a guide and bring it in just slightly after the blue line. And the reason for that is if you have text that goes right up against the edge you can see it almost creates too much discomfort makes it really hard to read. So I'm going to click drag and move it away from the edge and again use your up and down arrows to just kind of place it within that turquoise box. All right last one that we're going to work on is this one here and actually it's the same font so just so just copy and paste again place it here and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my type tool again highlight the content and here I'm going to type in my last title which is the spirit of collaboration once again I want to use a guide so I'm going to click drag and drop the guide to write about here I'm going to use my cursor my selection tool to move the item and the arrows to place it in place. I'm now ready to work on my subtitles. 